St. Cloud told me to ask you about your CBD backwards. CBD backwards. Okay. <laughs> there was a point in time where my, my mom was, like, like really pissed off that I was f***ing and all this shit. Because, like, bro, I was, like, like I said, like, bro, like, 11, 12, like, backwards and shit. Like, you know what I mean? That shit was, like, ridiculous. So she was, like, drug testing me. And, like, I was CBD backwards. You know, like, that CBD weed? You know what I'm talking about? Mm. Like that, like flower. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? I was smoking that shit. That that's like an inside joke. I I, oh, I know really? who asked that. Yeah, that's funny as shit. Yeah, I like pulled up to a studio one time in New York, like blowing a CBD backwood and like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, same there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, word, tight shit. But I remember the first time somebody offered me CBD weed, and they were like, "This is like smoking pain pills." And I was like, okay, huh? that sounds amazing. Like, cause it's like, it's not supposed to get you like high. Uh, it's just supposed to give you that cool, chilled out feeling. Yeah, that's basically what it did. Yeah, yeah. 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 Real weed smokers are going to act like elitist about it. But that, that was like a one month thing that I did. But yeah, I, I didn't really f that shit. I didn't really do anything. It just made me like lightheaded, honestly. Mm. <laughs> uh, have you got any label deals or people offering you like a deal right now? Uh, no, I, 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 I signed a distribution deal. Oh, really? With who? Yeah. Um, with it's like a like a collaboration deal with like Alamo and uh, Hollywood Media. I don't know if you know there. Yeah. I know Alamo. Uh, Hollywood, Hollywood bro. Hollywood super cool. Yeah, fire people. Yeah, that's and, how, and how did you get with uh, Harry and Nissim? Um, honestly, bro, through Lebanon, the person we were talking about earlier. Um, mm -hmm. I think he like showed them my music, and um, Harry was saying he wanted to. To manage me and stuff, and uh, we just made it happen. Yeah, it's like shit. Nah, yeah, Harry, and you're you're definitely in the right hands because the oh. boys are moving, man. Hell yeah! How long okay. have they been managing you? Uh, like seven months now, six, seven oh, months. Yeah, it's like shit. Yeah. What's your friendship with Rich and Mary? I seen you guys like hop on live and like chop <laughs> it up a couple times. Yeah, Rich and Mary's cool. It's like cool people. I, I them. Y'all got any music on the way? Shit, maybe. I, we don't really have anything. We have like one old track type like some plug and b shit from a while ago but sure, we'll probably eventually make some shit hell yeah of course even though i know you say you're not really focused on features if you could get a dream feature right now who would you want to work with dream feature yeah just like anybody <laughs> i don't know bro. i probably have to say like either as of right now like future chief keef i feel like that would be super beneficial for the plug and b shit like if like chief keef got in a fucking plug and b beat bro like it would be like game changing or future got in a plug and b beat that should be insane yeah, if you're gonna go dream feature, you definitely can't choose somebody low key. You gotta go for the fuck yeah, stuff. Yeah, but know? hell yeah, yeah, game changing. Mm. Okay, definitely. What uh? So when you look at your career, it's like you do kind of make some of the most out of the box music that I heard in a long time. But wh where do you see your career going over the course of the, however many years? Are you in a hurry to blow up, or you feel like you're you're happy to kind of? bide your time and, and let yeah, this happen I, I organically. want shit to be as natural as possible, yeah. bro. Yeah, like, I don't know. I want to make plug and be mainstream. Like, if that's possible, bro, like, yeah. that That's, like, for sure the goal. Like, the end goal to have, like, plug and be, like, be, like, a top genre type shit. Like, yeah. Yeah, 100%. Who do you feel like is at the uh, forefront of plug and be besides yourself? Besides me? Yeah. I think, like, Summer still has, like, his name with that genre a lot. Like, when you say plug and be, like, Summers and Autumn, like, come to mind type shit. Um... Besides Summers, I don't really know, bro. I'm not gonna, Corey Lingo, for sure. Um, it's another one. Lebanon. There's not really a lot of plug and be artists these days, bro. Like, there's really not. Like, there's not many left. Yeah. We're a small group. We all know each other. Mm. Real shit. Yeah. Are you friends with Lossy? I think I seen Lossy at the show. Lossy Hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah, bro. <laughs> Lossie. Yeah, Lossie. yeah, Lossie. Lossie used to make uh, a lot of plug and B shit too, but now he got his his little uh the sex and B shit or whatever, you know, yeah, the yeah. R and B sound. That shit cool too. I fuck with that. Yeah. I fuck yeah, with yeah, I'm in the hotel. Yeah, they used to be my shit back in the day. You know that song? <laughs> bro, that yeah, hell yeah, of yeah. course I know that song. Yeah. yeah, you know what's going on. Yeah. How often do you record? Bro, honestly, I record I've been recording a lot when I'm out here. Like, mm -hmm. but like when I'm home, bro, I'd be lazy as shit. Like I record like twice a month, like to be honest. Like I'll have like those little like like weeks where like I'm really locked in and I'll make like like five songs in a week type shit. But like, bro, I don't know how people record every day. Like, mm -hmm. I can never do that, bro. Like, I lose so much. Like, plug and B can only go like so far, bro. It's like it only branches out. You know what I mean? So far, so like, there's not like a lot of variations of it you can make if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So like, it's hard to find inspiration for like just that one genre that I'm focusing on. Yeah, like when people tell me that they make five songs in a night or that they're in the studio every night, it's like. I respect the work ethic, and you might 
land on something dope doing that but it's also like unless you're really going out of your way to make shit different and switch it up you're just exactly. kind of grinding out the same shit over and over right? not exactly I, bro i spend like real time on every song like mm. i spend like fucking weeks sometimes like just perfecting one song like the mix like i'm like i'm such a perfectionist with that shit bro like it's got to be like spot on like all that shit like if one bar is fucked up like i'm gonna keep you know what i mean Going back. Is that why there's not that many songs on Lovesick? And are you counting that as an album? Because I've seen you say Yeah, like I mean, like, bro, originally it was supposed to be an EP. But, like, people started, like, calling it an album. So I just, like, I went with it. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I fuck with Lovesick. But, like, I definitely feel like this new music I, I'm about to drop soon is about to be a lot better. Like, I, I got some, like, crazy shit on the way for sure. Do you think that Yeet can go aura for aura with Playboy Cardi? It's an interesting question. You want to who would know the answer to that? Hyperpop Daily. <laughs> that's, <laughs> okay. where that, that's where it came Yeah, you got to ask Hyperpop Daily. We interviewed him, and like I looked at his Instagram and like r- kept seeing the Aura for Aura shit. And I'm like, oh, I can't wait Dude, to bring I, that yeah. up. And then people on Twitter, like there's a tweet with like 20,000 likes roasting us for having yeah. Aura for Aura in the title. Yeah. And it's like, obviously, I would never say that if I wasn't talking, talking to Hyperpop Daily. But I've been thinking about Aura a lot now. Yeah, you know, I watched the bro, I watched the clip from the fucking interview. He was saying that shit a lot. It's like a new thing. Before that, it was Ohio. He was saying Ohio a lot. Ohio this, Ohio that. Fucking Riz, Riz this, Riz that. You know what I mean? But now it's now it's that shit. That shit's funny as fuck. There, there's a whole new wave of slang taking over the country. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you consider yourself a sigma? What the fuck is that? It's just like a, a badass dude, like the guy who gets all the girls and shit. Hell yeah. Not mid. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know any of that fucking stuff. Bro, I feel like an old head just because, like, I've been, like, in the, like, underground shit. Like, mm. you know what I mean? So I was, like, fucking tense, like, eight years. I mean, yeah, there's, uh, I don't know. I saw a, a, a TikTok that just had, like, all these different slang terms jammed together, and I knew, like, 20% of them, and it forced me to fucking have to go and just look up the rest of them because I was, like, I can't be having this. Like, all this new shit is happening, all these new slang words that I don't know because I really am genuinely an old head. But I want, I'm, I'm fascinated. How old are you? 40. That's all my dad is. My dad's 40. Jesus Christ, that's, that's crazy. That's scary. That's crazy that you could be my son. That's that's, that's pride. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Who's your, like, go-to producers and shit? Like, who do you, like, when Producers? You're, yeah, like... Shit, bro. Um, I fuck with Zang Gang, Heavy. Uh, Solemn. I don't know if you know that. He produced, like, fucking, like, 70% of my music. Uh, he's a crazy producer. Um, Honestly, bro, like... Majority of my songs are produced by like Solemn. Like that's like all the hits like that people know except Losing Myself. That's produced by Zang Gang. Gene Soaked is produced by um and that's J2K. My- that's a really hard producer, bro. Jalen is super fired, super talented person. Um a lot of my songs are, are produced by really underground producers too, bro. Like I don't really work with like any of these like like bigger, you know what I mean? Like producers. So yeah, they're all like in my little group type shit. We all be working with each other. How did you and Solomon even link up? Was it like a online? Yeah, yeah, no, he sent me beats to my email, bro. Like, I'd be, I'd be periodically, like, going through my email and, yeah. like, listening to all the beats um, people send me, and, like, his shit just stood out, bro. Like, that shit was so much different. Like, it was, like, bro, he had, like, his own spin to it, you know what I mean? Like, it was plug and B, but, like, it was different type shit. So I feel like we, like, have somewhat developed our own, like, plug and B sound together, bro. Like, it's not just plug and B. It's a little bit different. Like, you know, like a, like a shine and solemn type of song, you know what I mean, when you hear 